Hi, good day, welcome back to another video. So, we've done a template of the back of the boat by clamping some cardboard onto the back and just drawing it so we know what size the back's gonna be so we can make it fit with the fiberglass we have, which is over here. And this is the fiberglass. This is like a mat sort of thing. And I'm filming it on. Alrighty, so we've just cut the cardboard out. So now it fits on the back of the boat. Um, here's the back to the boat. And here's this. We need to cut this out. But now we know that this fits. So we know what size to make the fiberglass back. Glass. We're going to put two layers of chop strand in each splash rail. Then we're going to fill it up with chow powder and resin. Now we're going to put three layers of fiberglass on. Chop, mat, chop.
just to make sure there's no more dry spots because we don't want dry spots. Fiberglass, matte fiberglass, and now we're going to take this off. And here we have some more experience. Hello. Do you want to get underneath it? You get underneath it, then you can just take it all along here. Just try it. Fiberglass stringers because I want my boat to last longer than some of you guys out there. Yeah. And off it comes. Don't want to pick this bit up. strong it is. You can't bend it. So strong. Five layers on the top and four layers on the sides. That's it. Fiberglass, matte fiberglass. Then we do matte fiberglass. For the top bit. Done deal. Done. We just got stuck a little bit halfway because we had like a little bit of like tape to keep these two bits like, together. To fill the gaps. But, yeah, to fill the gaps. Do we put the tape on all the raw timber? Yeah. So we put the tape on all the raw timber and then it means it didn't stick. So that's the tape there. 
We're going to pull it all off. Come straight up. Throw it in the bin. each face of the stringer so we can fiberglass them in. Solid. I didn't go through the boat, so that's a good demonstration. We've made these airtight, so that's going to be our buoyancy to keep us afloat if anything actually bad goes wrong. So we're also going to have like a bung somewhere over here and on this one as well, just so if any air or any water actually comes in here somehow. We can patch the hole how it got through there and we can take the water out. And if water gets through here, you may be wondering, it can come through this pipe here and come out the other side. It'll come, it'll drip down here. And then since there'll be a bung hole just here, you'll be able to see that on the other side. Pull that one out and we're good. All right, so you guys may know that Fiberglass transoms weigh a lot, but we know how much resin we've put in this thing, and it's around 36 kilos. Now, it is a little bit heavier than a wood transom, but only by 8 kilos. But that's the end of the video. See you in the next one.